from the point of view of sustainability, scallops are an excellent thing to eat because basically energy is transferred from the sun into phytoplankton and then into scallops. So this is regarded around the world as being a very sustainable form of uh, seafood. Scallop dredges differ a little from trawls in that they have solid steel rings on the bottom of the fishing gear. Now the advantage of having those is that they remain open, so unlike fishing nets, they don't close up. And that means that any other organisms that get caught in the catch can fall through back onto the seabed. But we know from our own research that when you look at the bycatches associated with scallop dredges, the proportion of fish that are caught uh, as the bycatch is relatively low, and very low when you compare it to other forms of trawl fishing. We have an association with foul fish insofar as they are part funders of a PhD uh, which is being undertaken at by Bangor University with a student called Claire Shostak. Basically the scallop industry as a whole is very keen to improve the knowledge about scallop stocks and also improve our knowledge about you know, scallop biology in general. There is very little known about the fishery, um, it's not a quota species and it's, there's never really been a huge amount of science um, as there have been with other species so any data is obviously feeding into future management. So when I'm sorting through the dredge contents, um, looking for the different bycatch species, it's relevant to the Marine Stewardship Council uh, sustainability certificate because you need to understand that you're not catching other species that are perhaps endangered um, or a significant sort of high amount of any other species that could be therefore impacting another fishery. What we've seen in recent years with uh, increasing seawater temperatures around the UK uh, is much better recruitment of scallops into the fishery. So it seems that at the moment we're in a, a climatic phase that favours scallops and we've certainly seen in the Irish Sea incrementing trends in scallop abundance year on year. Foulfish have been working together with uh, skippers in the um, scallop industry to try and encourage them to be innovators, actively encouraging uh, skippers to take uh, monitoring systems on board their ships so we can track where they're going, actively encouraging fishermen to engage with the science and become involved in that scientific process. They've also been gathering tissue samples for me for genetic analysis from various different sites. Again, you know, I wouldn't be able to gather those samples without the, the assistance of the fishermen. So um, it just really shows how much the industry is, is pushing for this sort of knowledge and, and research to be done and, and actually funding it themselves. It's certainly possible to uh, manage scallop fisheries in a sustainable way in the UK. Inevitably, when uh, fishing gear has a direct contact with the seabed, the animals and the habitats that live there will be affected. But the key thing is that those effects will vary. So, for example, in some very shallow inshore areas which are exposed to storms on a regular basis, um, the effects of fishing are relatively minor because the animals that live there are adapted to lots of different forms of natural disturbance. However, if you look at other types of environments, deeper water environments where perhaps habitats are formed by living organisms, then the effects of toad fishing over these habitats is going to last for a much longer period of time. So the key thing is for us to understand where these different types of habitats occur so that we can direct fishing to the places where it's more appropriate and direct it away from areas where it's not really considered to be sustainable. It's really good to, to feel that I'm a part of something that's going to be really useful for the industry. Um, obviously any data that I collect, hopefully, you know, it's only going to benefit the industry because there'll be more information about the, the scallop stocks.